Hello, this is my first review. Um, so I'll be doing one of my favorite books. It's called Song of the Sparrow by Lisa Ann Sandal. The link to purchase it is in the sidebar. I'll rate the books on from one butterfly being the lowest to five butterflies being the highest. And Song of the Sparrow is definitely for butterflies because it's just an amazing book and it will literally stay with you. It not stings you to the point that it's haunting, but it describes how she feels in such, how Elaine feels in such a, in such a, it's hard to describe it, in such a, on such an acute point. Does that make sense? <laughs> to such a great point. Like, you, really feel her pain, you laugh with her, you fall in love with her, um, pretty much the whole thing is Elaine of Ascola, or as you would know her as the late, as most of you would know her as the Lady of Shallot from Lord Tennyson's poem, The Lady of Shallot, Elaine is the sole girl in a militaristic world of men, put straight from the back. And so, pretty much the whole story starts from Guinevere, Arthur's fiance, as you all know, comes to the camp. And she falls in love with, with Lancelot, but Elaine's in love with Lancelot. Um, it's pretty much just Elaine and Guinevere bickering, but it's really good because you really feel Elaine's pain. Lisa and Sandal have got a hell of a gift. The book is set up like a limerick. Like, for example, here's a passage. I am Elaine, daughter of Bernard of Ascola, motherless, sisterless. I sing these words to you now because the point of light goes smaller, even smaller now, even ever more distant now. And with this song, I pray I may push back the tides of war and death. So I sing these words that this light, this tiny ray of light, and hope may live on. I dare not hope that I may live on too. Um, yeah, that's not that great of a passage, but, you know, you really should read it, because if you're into Celtic and Camelot mythology, this is the perfect book, book for you. It's a great book to, to wear readers, because it's age-appropriate. There's not, not that, that content in it. So I would recommend this for nine, from, for ages nine to, for ages nine and up, because there's really only one thing, but nine-year-olds are probably not going to get it. It, we had heard stories about the Saxons due to women, and why she said that, you'll just have to find out. So again, the link to buy it's in the sidebar, so please comment, rate, and subscribe, because you know I love to read and I love to do these videos. Um, so yeah. Bye.